Hi everyone, welcome back to Gado. Today we will show you how to replace the headphone jack on the iPad mini 3 tablet. Before starting, we need to have the right tools to proceed with the repair which you can find in the description. Proper heating requires iPad screen removal from the body. For this, we use a heating pad designed for tablets and mobile phones. On iPad devices, make sure to hit the front side. Select the tablet heating option and leave it till heating completes. Alternatively, you can use a heat gun or something similar. Once the heating has completed, use a suction cup on the sides to lift the touchscreen. In between, insert few plastic pickers or carburetor tools and cut the adhesive around. Be gentle while pulling the Araflex cables attached to the logic board. Next, lift the touchscreen to 90 degrees from the top and then remove four screws securing the LCD screen. Next, lift the LCD screen to 90 degrees from the top. Next, take out the LCD plate by undoing 7 screws. Next, take out the bracket by undoing 4 screws. Next, disconnect the battery plug, LCD plug and two touchscreen connector plugs from the logic board. And then gently take out the LCD screen and touchscreen from the body. Next, disconnect the front camera connector by releasing the tape.
Next, gently pry the cable and release the tape to disconnect the microphone connector. Lift the lever and release the flex cable. Next, release tapes on the headphone jack flex cable and then gently pry the cable. Next, take out the broken headphone jack port flex by undoing the screw. Next, place a new headphone jack on the body. Ensure the placement and secure the port by adding the screw. Next, connect the headphone jack plug and then secure tapes. Next, secure the microphone connector and tape. Next, connect the front camera plug and then paste the tape. Next, connect the battery plug. Place the touch screen by securing two plugs. Next, place and connect the LCD screen. Next, place the bracket by adding four screws. Next, place the LCD plate by adding 7 screws.
Next, secure the LCD screen by adding four screws. Next, clean the LCD and touch screen surface. Next, before clamping, verify the screen has enough glue. If not, use B7000 glue or new double sided adhesive. Finally, we use screen binding to tighten the screen to the body. If not, you can use some rubber bands and leave them for some time. Hope you have enjoyed the replacement guide and let us know if you have any questions. Please like, share and comment on our videos. Hit the subscribe button for more videos.